Hi everyone. Today in this lesson, we are going to deal with the second application of dimensional analysis. The previous lesson we have discussed about the first application that is to check the correctness of given relation. So anyway, we will discuss today the second application to derive the new formula or to derive the relationship among the physical quantity. Just see one of the example. We are going to derive a formula. We are going to derive a formula for centripetal force. What is that? Centripetal force. So if you don't know what is centripetal force, just see this one. Consider this is the sun. Around the sun, earth is revolving around. What is that? Around the sun, earth is revolving. So centripetal force means the force associated with the revolving body. So this is the case. If this earth is revolving, m is the mass of the earth. If you draw a tangent, we can say the velocity v and this is the radius r. What is that? Radius r. We are going to derive now a relationship between centripetal force. We are assuming that the centripetal force may depends on what is the physical quantity may depends upon centripetal force. One mass of the body here it's the earth. Maybe another one is velocity of the body and maybe another one is radius. So we can assume many physical quantity. But we are here in this example we are discussing about only three cases. Mass, velocity, radius may depends upon the centripetal force. So we can write like this. The centripetal force is F. What is the centripetal force? A force acting on a revolving body and the centripetal force will be acting towards the center of the circle. So F is the, uh, the centripetal force. So what we are assuming that the centripetal force may depends on. So we, this is a way to write. It may depends on. What about physical quantity it may depends on? One is mass we don't know the power right maybe one may come two may come any value may come so if you don't know the power so we are assuming that m to the power a next one it may depends upon what velocity so we can write the v to the power b what is a b power we don't know the power in this relation and one more quantity we have discussed here that is a radius so we can write the r to the power c now we can write this formula as to avoid the proportional design we can multiply with a constant k. So f is equal to k into m to the power a, v to the power b and r to the power c. Now we are going to write the dimensional formula on the left hand side as well as the right hand side. What is on the left hand side? Force. Centripetal force means what? It's a force, right? So force dimension m l t to the power minus 2 that is a force mass into acceleration which is equal to k. k means what? It is a dimensionless constant. What is that? A dimensionless constant into now here we written the mass m. So what is the dimension of mass? Now you write the dimension in square bracket capital letter m all to the power the power is a we don't know what is the power we are going to find out the power now next one is velocity what is the dimension of velocity we can write the dimension as l t to the power minus one that is meter per second all right meter per second or l t to the power minus one all to the power b one more quantity is the that is radius radius means what length so we are doing one length all to the power c now you just open this bracket. So what we can write here? Left hand side there is no change. So we can write m l t to the power 
minus 2 is equal to k into m to the power a. If you multiply this one, m to the power 1 into a, you can write the m to the power a. Now, l to the power 1 into b, a square bracket and a power. You have to multiply this one. So, l to the power 1 into b, that is equal to b. t to the power minus 1, all to the power b. So, minus 1 into b, t to the power minus b. One more is the, that is the length. l to the power 1 into c, that is l to the power c. Right. Now, you can see here, you can write this equation as m l t to the power minus 2 left hand side is equal to k into now m how many terms are there? only one term so m to the power a l how many terms are the two are there so the powers must be added so l to the power b plus c t only one term so t to the power minus b maybe you can see here put in square bracket now if you compare these two equations on the left hand side and right hand side just compare these two equations on the left hand side and right hand side for mass power is a here power is what 1 for length here the power is b plus c here it is 1 for time t to the power minus b here t to the power minus 2 so for comparison you can write the a is equal to 1 the power of mass is a here mass is 1 so a equal to 1 here l b plus c is equal to here 1 and here you can see minus b is equal to minus 2 minus b is equal to minus 2 now let's find out a b c so here you can see here minus b equal to minus 2 so minus minus cancel so you can write here b is equal to 2 and here of course you know a is equal to 1 if b is equal to 2 if you substitute here 2 plus c equal to 1 right 2 plus c equal to 1 so what is a c is equal to c is equal to 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 now we got the power a b c this power must be substituted in the given equation what is the equation here f is equal to now k mass we have assumed that centripetal force may depends upon mass velocity and radius right so we can write the mass to the power a here what is a 1 so i can write here m to the power 1 Next one V, V to the power B. What is B here? B2, so 2. And the last physical quantity is radius. So radius R to the power, what is the C value? Minus 1. So we can write the minus 1. So the equation can be written as F is equal to K into M V square R to the power minus 1. If you take it to the denominator, we can write the mv square divided by r. So, what is the relation now we have derived here? Force that is centripetal force f is equal to k into mv square divided by r. Okay. So, this is the way to derive the relationship between the physical quantities such as force, mass, velocity, radius. What is the relationship you have made now? f is equal to k into mv square divided by r. So, one of the drawback is here using this method is that we cannot find the k value. What is k value? k value is a dimensionless constant. Okay. Let's do one more example. That is in your NCRT book. There is one example is the regarding the time period of symbol pendulum. Let's do that question now. Now let's discuss about the symbol pendulum example. So you can write down this question. Time period of a symbol pendulum may depends on so we are going to assume that what is the physical quantities what are the physical quantities may depends on the time period so what we are assuming that just imagine 
this is the symbol pendulum okay this is a symbol pendulum the symbol pendulum is now oscillating symbol pendulum is now oscillating so we are going to find the time period formula so what is meant by time period time taken to complete one oscillation so what we are assuming that time period may depends on the mass of the bob time period may depends on the mass of the bob time period may depends on the time period may depends on the length of the symbol pendulum and what we can assume now any other physical quantity may depends mass length once again you can assume that it may depends upon acceleration due to gravity say it as g is acceleration due to gravity because it is oscillating near the earth's surface so we are assuming that it may depends on what acceleration due to gravity now what is the first step here let's write here we are assuming that time period may depends on which all physical quantity we have discussed about one is mass of the bob so mass of the bob so we don't know if the mass is present there we don't know what is the power right so we are writing here m to the power a what is the next quantity it may depend it may so length to the power b next one we have discussed about g value right so we can write here g to the power c we don't know we are assuming that these are the physical quantity may depends upon the time period of a symbol pendulum therefore we can write this formula as t is equal to we are avoiding the proportional design by multiplying with a constant k that is a dimensionless constant so mass to the power a length to the power b and g to the power c now you let's write the dimension formula on lhs and as well as rhs what is the time period period time period what is the uh, dimension formula t so you can write here on the left hand side m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 1 that is t it depends only on what time period so there is nothing related to mass and nothing related to l so only the dimension is time period so just for comparison we are writing m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 1 which is equal to k into what is next one next to physical quantity mass so mass capital letter m you can write in square bracket all to the power a next one length i can write here l in square bracket all to the power b third one is what g acceleration due to gravity acceleration it is so dimension of acceleration is what l t to the power minus 2 all to the power c now you open the bracket now what we can write here if you open the bracket you can write left hand side is same right hand side what is the right hand side you can write what is the right hand side k into m to the power a 1 into a multiply the powers l to the power 1 into b b and next one l to the power 1 into c c t to the power minus 2 into c that is equal to what minus 2c left hand side m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 1 as well as t now you compare these powers here now left hand side is mlt right hand side is also in terms of mlt so m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 1 is equal to k into how many m terms are there only one so i can write here m to the power a how many l terms are there l to the power b plus c two terms are there so powers must be what added and last one t to the power minus 2c minus 2c now the comparison let's do the comparison if you compare this one i can see a 0 b plus c 0 minus 2c 1 so i can write here a is equal to 0 b plus c is equal to 0 last one minus 2c equal to 
1. So we got a equal to 0. What is c here? c is equal to minus 1 by 2. If c is minus 1 by 2, I can write here b plus minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. So what is a b is equal to? b is equal to 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2 if you take right side plus 1 by 2. So we got a equal to 0, b equal to half and c is equal to minus half. Now let us substitute in the equation. What is equation here? Our equation t is equal to k into mass mass to the power a that is 0 length to the power b what is b here 1 by 2 and last one g g to the power c c is equal to what minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so what we have assumed before time period may depends upon the mass of the pendulum you see here here m to the power 0 so what we have assumed that it is wrong nothing related to mass here length is depends and g also depends so what is the final equation here time period t is equal to k into m is not present because m to the power 0 nothing is there l to the power 1 by 2 what is the l to the power 1 by 2 means root l now g to the power minus 1 by 2 means g to the power minus 1 by 2 means what we can write here divided by root of g divided by root of g or first you take the g to the power minus 1 by into denominator so it become what root g so t is equal to k into root of l by g so this is the relation we have derived using the dimensional analysis or using the application of dimensional formula so what is the drawback i have already told you in the previous example the k value could not be calculated because the k value should be calculated only with the experimental method so this is one of the drawback we can only find the uh, uh, relation not the constant value clear so this is a way to do it what derive the relation between the physical quantities. I hope you understand this one. Thank you.